Hello everyone! Welcome to Divinity 2, the developer's cut edition, but we're not playing the developer's cut edition per se. We're just playing this version of the game, and it is the new and improved version from the original Divine Div Divinity 2, sorry. Uh, Divinity 2. Because I guess the original one had some bugs and stuff. This is the remastered edition. Uh, the Ego Draconis. And then Flames of Vengeance is the expansion, which I will be playing afterwards. From what I read, it kind of imports your character that you make through the Ego Draconis campaign into this one. So that should be amazing and awesome. Uh, if you aren't aware, I have recently played the Divine Divinity game on my channel all the way through. Um, I, there was a game after that. It's kind of on the same engine as Divine Divinity, but uh, it was a little bit kind of off the course, not as much humor, a little bit darker. Uh, I didn't read any good reviews for it really, so I figured I'm gonna skip it for now and go right to Divinity 2 because I have I have on good authorities that this game is just as awesome as the first one, if not more awesome. So. And I loved Divine Divinity to death, so I'm looking forward to playing this a lot. I'm going to make a similar character that I had the first time, with a couple exceptions. And I'll get to that when we get started. But for right now, I think it's going to pop up a movie for us to watch. Let's get going. Alright, so that was the hint we get. <laughs> um, we are apparently a slayer, but we're going to be a lady slayer, and we're going to be... Oh crap, I didn't even think of a name. Uh, we'll be Ron... Ron... Dra. We'll be Rondra. And I will be... I don't think there's that many options. But we'll pick a cool looking one. Um, I'm gonna be, I don't know if there's stealing in this game and stuff, but I wanna be like a, a thiefy type character with magic, just like I did in the first one. I'm going to use a, a little bit less bow than I did. I mean, he's trying to use more dagger. That looks pretty badass. She's got a scar on her eye and stuff. So yeah, I'm not planning on being a nice Nancy. Can I see? Can you turn? Can, I want to see if that's a ponytail. This is important. This is very important. I can't tell. But I want her hair to be up. I don't want it to be down. I cannot even tell. Black hair. I think that might be... Dang. Let's go with the... Ooh, red. Alright, let's go with this. Ponytail. Oh yeah, it says ponytail. Derp. Way to read. All right. I triggered something, but what? I triggered something, but what? I triggered something, but what? I triggered something. Feel my wrath. <laughs> wrath. Feel my wrath. Feel my wrath. Feel my. Uh. 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 I triggered something, but what? Uh. Feel. Oh, I don't feel too good. Maybe this. Uh. One. Uh. Uh. I triggered something, but what? Alright, we'll go with that one. Feel my wrath. Rondra, the Slayer. Would you like to continue with your current character? Uh, yes.
Here we are. Farglo. The place where our disciples become true dragon slayers. And today, the honor is yours. Ooh. What else? Let's see. I wanna I don't know anything about this game, by the way. I played it for like two minutes. I ran around to test the video. I don't know anything about the story, so I'm gonna be going through all the dialogue and stuff. Sorry if that's annoying, but I would like to know what's going on because I am playing this shortly after finishing recording Divine Divinity, so the story is still vaguely fresh in my mind, and I'm looking forward to finding familiar things and stuff. So anyways, um... You're not coming with me? No, I should very much like to enter the village again. I am forbidden to do so. Only once in their lives may dragon slayers enter it, as disciples. Okay. In any case, it would be imprudent to join you. This is a part of the journey each slayer must walk alone. So I am a disciple. So I'm like a noob slayer. Uh, what exactly will be going on in there? You'll have to see for yourself. Don't be so apprehensive. You'll be fine. Alright. This is a momentous step in every slayer's life, but few have fared badly afterwards. You have fared badly. All right. That's good to know. What are my orders? They are quite simple. Seek out the men and women who reside here and benefit from their knowledge. That may sound a bit vague, but don't worry. Farglow will explain itself. Farglow will explain itself. So when we meet again, I shall finally be a real slayer. Not completely, no. Oh. After the initiation, we will head back to Rivertown, where the ritual will come to <gasps> Rivertown! But let's talk about that on the Zeppelin when we head back, shall we? See you later, Commander. Good luck, Slayer. Thank you. Sweet. Yay, Rivertown. I know Rivertown. Oh, my ponytail goes inside my shirt. That is so annoying. All right, so. I have rebound a couple of the keys. Hopefully I remember them. Uh, I'm attacking. This is my attack face. Rawr. Punch. I can sheathe my fists slash weapons with F, or I can click... Uh, the mouse to the attack button, basically, to sheath and uh, no, only to unsheath. I can't. If I click again, I just attack. So I have to hit F to sheath. In case. Yeah. And the, anyways, then we have bunnies. I did kill bunnies in my test recording, and if you kill a lot of them, I think it's an achievement. I don't know what it was. It said I was like a. It, it called me a name, basically. <laughs> okay. Press L to access your quest log. I arrived in Farglo, where I must undergo a ritual that will make me a real dragon slayer. I do not recognize Farglo from uh, the previous game. I don't remember it being mentioned. Uh, my commander, Rode, instructed me to enter the village to seek out people there who can apparently teach me valuable things. That's amazing. So let's take a look at this really quick. I haven't really looked at this. Um, it looks like we have lots of neat spells to pick from. S oh, skills. Okay, skills. Hide in shadows. Ooh, summon undead, summon ghost. Fear, charm, summon mess. Ooh. It looks like I can still have summons in this game. Uh, in the previous, in Divine Divinity, I was a uh, kind of a ranger with like a conjuring ability. <laughs> I had mostly like summons. I summoned skeletons and stuff. And I used my bow a lot. I had a dagger as well, a dagger and a shield. But I really favored my bow. Uh, oh, I forgot. One thing I need to do... I would like to change the difficulty... Oh, it is on hard. Okay, I, I want to play on hard. I want to see how that goes. I feel like... Uh, save over that, please. Yes, that was my test one, so let's save over that. Okay. Yes, I want to try playing on hard. It'll be, it should be fun. I read that, oh, before we talk to this guy, I read that uh, bow and arrow, especially in later game, is really powerful. So, um, especially if I use do the combination of that and magic, I don't want to be too OP, so I'm going to try it on hard. And, uh, yeah. Hello. The disciple arrives. Let me bid you a fond welcome to Farglow. Hmm. I prefer to be called Slayer rather than Disciple. Such a belittling word, disciple, is, wouldn't you say, for one who has since the age of ten been groomed to become the elite of man's warriors? Yes. But don't you worry. You learn the title of Dragon Slayer soon enough. All right. Commander Rode told me to benefit from the knowledge that is to be found here. Couldn't have put it better myself. 
In fact, I have but one thing to add. Morgana is waiting by the waterfall. Find her, and the purpose of this day shall become crystal clear. Okay. Uh, who is Morgana? The Archmage. She's an intimidating woman, to be sure, but ah, pleasant enough in her own way. Her laboratory is at the back of the village, next to the Divine Memorial Flame. Okay. Who do I have to see besides Morgana? Oh, several people, but she'll send you on your way after her part of the ritual. The others probably won't share more than a few words with you until they know you've visited Morgana. Okay, tell me about the Divine Memorial Flame. As the name says, it's a shrine that bears a flame in honor of the Divine. The bowl in which the flame was lit is held aloft by stone dragons. This design symbolizes the burden they carry on their shoulders. The guilt that was heaped upon them when they killed the Divine. Oh, okay. I think I know what's going on there. And you, Slayer. Oh, I wonder if that is uh, ties in with the end of the first game. Because uh, the, they, they kill the Divine One in the end in order to... Well, they kill the hero to reincarnate them as the divine one so i don't know we'll find out i guess right find out i guess so let's do some exploring we have some people to talk to around here we have a bunch of chickens hmm. i believe f5 is quick save heck yeah hello welcome to farglow slayer uh why is this village called farglow it's what the imps used to call the place when it was first built they were used to black and star-dotted skies only, but from then on they saw fires glow from afar. Somehow, the settlers learned of the name their hamlet went by, and soon they adopted it themselves. Okay, can you tell me a bit more about this place? Fargo used to be a small hunter community, until it was destroyed by the Black Ring during the Great War. The Black Ring? When the war was over, a group of powerful wizards and warriors chose to build a secret retreat where once the town had stood because of its remote location. Now a handful of villagers live here again. We tend to the houses and do all kinds of little chores for them. Okay. In return, we can live a quiet life here, safe and far away from the evils that roam the lands. Alrighty, goodbye now. Bye, Slayer. Thank you for calling me Slayer and not Disciple. I much appreciate that. That is an empty crate. I like how it says empty. I really do like that. Uh, this looks like some cool stuff we can climb on. But uh, I don't think we'll get anywhere by doing that. So let's not. This guy. Ooh, maybe he can train me in bow and arrow. Hello. Hey there. I'm Aravia the Ranger. Ooh, can you share some tricks of the trade? Not before you have seen Morgana, my friend. Oh. Okay, fine. Eredivar's house. Ooh. Can I break into his house? Hello? Not now. Not now! Morgana first, me later. Oh god. Okay, you're a mage. You do that. You're a psycho crazy mage. Alright, let's go fight Morgana. No one's gonna talk to me until I do so. Seems like a good place to start, doesn't it? This is a... Target dummy of sorts. Rah! Can't hit it. Okay, so Morgana is by the waterfall. And I believe we have to go across here to get it. I mean, to get to her. Okay. Hello. Marion. You have a cool bow. And are you a vendor? The illusionist can change your appearance at any time in the game. You can even change sexes. Well then, that's an interesting ability that that person has. How are you... How do you afford it? What are you doing? What are you doing, Marion? Can I talk to you? Haven't seen you around here before. Enjoy your time in Farglo. Oh, I want your hairdo. It's so much cooler than mine. Aw. Alright, anyways... That's empty. Hello, Gerald. What's that I hear? The sound of a newly stocked coin purse. <laughs> oh, let's trade, Dead Slayer. All right, what do you have? Oh, music to my ears. 
Gerald neither particularly likes nor dislikes you, and his prices are lukewarm as his disposition. Oh, good. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Good to know. Do I have any money? Rondra has 200 monies. Gerald has 5,000 monies. All right. Wooden shields. He's got some armor as well. And... Oh, I can't wait to make potions again! Ooh. Is there really food and hunger in this game? Because that would be awesome. Uh... Uh, that's a book. The Passion of the Divine. I, I stole it. Sorry, I just took your book. Do you care? Okay. Let's check out the book I just picked up. Uh, by the way, I have this too. I started with this. It's a quest item. An old book you have read countless times, but which you still hold dear because it tells the tale of a legendary heel from here. Hero from your native land. It is a work that never really gained the popularity it deserves. Interesting. And I just picked this up. The Passion of the Divine. Can I read it? Use. Ha. Ah. In good impassioned tradition, this book expounds baking, basking in the light of a blinding halo that melts away every form of objectivity. The magnum magnanimous wait magnanimous deeds of a hero of heroes the examples of every warrior the envy of every wizard the tingle between every girl's legs oh god lucian the divine most are undeserving of such lavish praise but not the savior of rivalon who slew the demon of lies and battled tireless tirelessly for the good of this world until until a dragon knight may hell befall a great betrayer placed a dagger in his back Ooh. Tucked behind the leather binding in the back of the book is a small addenda that explains how the Divine adopted Damien, the root of evil that would later, later set in motion the Great War. But, as the text reads, all of this information is hazy and inconclusive. So, if you don't know, um, your character in Divine Divinity is the one that is the Divine and kills the uh, Demon of Lies. Apparently, this is saying battled tirelessly afterwards for the good of the world until a dragon knight placed a dagger in his back. So the divine one apparently was assassinated by a dragon knight, which we are trying to become, I think. So that's interesting. Well, let's see. Before we go this way, I'm going to stop the video here and just make sure everything's working right. And uh, I will start recording again in just a moment and we'll talk to Morgana. But so far, so good. Looking forward to playing this through. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next episode.